1.2 Euler's fee function. In modular arithmetic, it will be important to know when, given a and b, the equation a times x equals b mod n has a solution. For example, there is exactly one solution to the equation 7x equals 3 mod 143. But there are no solutions to the equation 11x equals 3 mod 143. However, there are 11 solutions to the equation 11x equals 22 mod 143. Luckily, it is very easy to test when such an equation has one, many, or no solutions. We simply compute the greatest common divisor, or GCD of A and N, like GCD A comma N. If, if the greatest common divisor, uh, GCD of A comma N equals 1, you know, that's when they're relatively prime, then there is exactly one solution we find the value c such that a times c equals 1 mod n. And then we compute x equals b times c mod n. Let's see, a times c. So ax equals b here. Oh, when you multiply by c, you like cancel the A and then you get BC and X would be BC. That's all there is to that. That's, that's multiplying both sides by the same number to solve for X. That's all that is. And they're using the fact that in modular arithmetic you can have different numbers that multiply to one to solve for X. If g equals the greatest common divisor of a and n is not 1, so they're not relatively prime, and the greatest common divisor of a and n divides b, divides b, then there are g solutions. All right, so g is some number that's, you know, some fixed number. Here we divide the whole equation by g to produce the equation a prime times x prime equals b prime mod n prime. Right, because the greatest common divisor is not 1. Where a prime is a divided by g, b prime is b divided by g, and n prime is n divided by g. If x prime is a solution to the above equation, then x equals x prime plus i n prime. Hmm, this looks a little bit like the Euclidean algorithm or the division algorithm. x equals x prime plus i times n prime. For i greater than or equal to 0 and less than g. So i is between 0 and g and could be 0 here. So i is a solution to the original one, uh, the original equation. Otherwise, there are no solutions. The case where the greatest common divisor of a and n equals 1 is so important, we have a special name for it. We say a and n are relatively prime or coprime. The number of integers in z mod nz, which are relatively prime to n, is given by the Euler phi function phi of n. Given the prime factorization of n, it is easy to compute the value of phi of n. If n has the prime factorization, n is the product i equals 1 to n of p sub i to the e sub i. So this is the fundamental theorem, right? This is the product of primes. This big capital pi symbol means product or multiply. 
you multiply over the indices from 1 to n. So pi to the ei will look like, you know, a prime to some number times another prime to some number times another prime to some number. So this is a prime factorization. And it's just written in a compact notation. So you have to understand this pi symbol is multiplication to begin to unpack that notation. Then phi of n equals the product over the indices i equals 1 to n a p sub i e to the i minus 1 times p sub i minus 1. So that's the Euler phi function, what it gives you. Note the last statement, it is very important for cryptography. Given the factorization of n, it is easy to compute the value of phi of n. Ah, uh, yes. If you know that n is the product p sub i e to the i, then phi of n, you take the e sub i's and subtract 1 from them, and take p sub i minus 1 as you do the product. All right, so the last statement is very important for cryptography. Given the factor factorization of n, it is easy to compute the value of phi of n. The most important cases for the value of phi of n in cryptography are 1. If p is prime, then phi of p equals p minus 1. And that would give all the numbers relatively prime to p. If p and q are both prime and p is different from q, then phi of p q equals p minus 1 times q minus 1. Okay, so the phi function where p is different from q of p times q equals phi of p mi equals p minus 1 times q, q minus 1. So in other words, phi of p times q is phi of p times phi of q. Ah, uh, what is that? Uh, is that, uh, what is the word for that? Is that like, uh, yeah, so that preserves multiplication between what phi does on the inside and the numbers on the outside. Okay, 1.3 multiplicative inverses module n uh, will be next.